Rated M for Mature. I wonder what would happen if I jumped off here. Anyways guys, welcome back to Let's Play Persona 3 FES, and in the previous video we did some social links. We started dating Yuko, I kind of guess. And we made our way here to Tartarus. Now, in the, in the last time we were here though, we took on a bunch of shadows that are blocking our way, and man were they tough. But now we're going to be progressing to the last couple floors of Tartarus. We're not going to be taking on the next... Tartarus Guardian, because he's kind of tough, and I don't have a good persona. And Mitsuru right here is just going to talk about how if you split up, you get more EXP. Now, for some people, that can be a very good strategy, but honestly, sometimes you should just have your friends with you, because they can help you out of some sticky situations you normally couldn't get out of by yourself. And are we all here? Yeah, let's go. So, there's really no new shadows, or personas for that matter in the further floors of the bell. It's kind of just all explored. This is definitely the smallest block of the game. It's kind of supposed to be, because it's sort of like the tutorial level for combat. But yeah, there's nothing really too exciting going on, so I'm probably just gonna edit out every battle. And hey, there's the stairs. Heck, we might even get into a lot of battles, except that one we already went into. So just one more floor, and we will be to the next checkpoint. However, the next checkpoint is kind of gonna be a problem for me. Because I kind of can't deal with that guy, and I just screwed myself. Let's actually run around. Ah, let's run. <laughs> I don't even really need these chests, honestly. Everything that we could want from here, well, I guess more. You can't. You can, can never have enough money. Uh, we already have, so yeah, that's kind of good. And I found myself into a, quite a pickle, considering that is an empty, or actually a dead end, not an empty end. That doesn't make any sense. That's not even a word. And hey, we're already here. Awesome. So yeah, once you kind of know the way around Persona 3, you can kind of manipulate, like, shadow movement and just, you know, walk around as you need. No oh my, there is one extremely strong shadow on this floor. Yeah, he, he's right over there. I don't want to mess with that guy yet, guys. So we're probably going to be doing that a little bit later. In the meantime, though, I need to get level 7, which is going to be a giant grinding session. I don't know, it's kind of been the whole game so far. So I'm going to cut all that out and probably get level 7. The issue is we're probably going to get exhausted, though, from all that grinding. But now Yukari and Junpei will be level 7, so that would be pretty good. So yeah, after that grinding session, I'm just going to meet back here, and we're going to start the social link gathering part of the game again. So be right back. And alrighty then, after my grinding session, which lasted almost like 30 minutes, so it's a good thing I cut it out. We got super tired again, but we're level 7. Yeah. Also, our courage is determined, so we're halfway to the threshold of having maxed out courage. Sounds pretty darn nice, because we keep getting tired because we keep going to Tartarus, so that's actually kind of good. These are the personas I picked up along the way. Nothing really too special, just things you can find normally. And yeah, that's pretty much all we needed to do. Thank you, Mitsuru, for supervising me. But I'm going to bed to start school tomorrow. Actually, I don't think we... Yeah, we do go to school tomorrow. No, it's Sunday. Yeah, we don't have to. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's go to bed and return to the dorm for the night. Hi, how have you been? <laughs> how are you even in here? It's the dark hour. What the heck? What kind of welcome is that? Besides, I'm always with you. One week from now, there will be a full moon. Be careful. A new ordeal awaits you. Uh, what kind of ordeal? You will encounter one of them. You must prepare for the ordeal, but time is of the essence. I'm sure you're aware of that, of course. I'll come see you again when it's over. Goodbye for now. And yeah, it's Sunday, so we don't have to go to school. Also, today's Constitution Day, the beginning of Golden Week, which, for those who don't know, you can basically not go to school on Golden Week. It's kind of an Asian thing. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and play the MMORPG today. We're gonna talk to Maya, or Maya, I think I'm pretty sure it's Maya. Instead of studying, you don't need the matching persona yet for this, so don't worry. We're just gonna play the MMO and... And for the Hermit Rank 2, we talked to Maya online and she asks us who would stay inside on such a beautiful day. We reply with Sunshine is overrated, as many MMORPG players would probably reply. And she apparently likes that idea. And she's not really apparently an otaku in real life, and she comments on how she's supposed to be leveling, but it's kind of boring, and she kind of just prefers talking to us instead of actually playing the game, so that's actually sort of interesting. And yeah, we give her some pretty good replies, and she likes our uh, sayings, our text messages and stuff. And the social link rank increases another level. And alright, it is now Monday, and we still have two full days of Golden Week left to go. So unfortunately, here's kind of a big problem. Um, our cold is getting worse, and we can't go to school to visit the doctor, who could very easily cure us of this ailment. Now, that's kind of good and kind of bad, because, I mean, there's a chance that you'll go to sleep during Golden Week and it'll go away. But we sort of want the courage increase, since we're really close to getting our courage rank up, which would be pretty nice, but yeah. The only thing I don't really like about the... <laughs> look how Geeko is just like, I don't even care. <laughs> the, uh, the other thing that sucks about the Hermit Social Link is you can't do any night activities once you play the MMO. You're already in your room, so it just puts you back to sleep, I guess. I don't really know why it does that. Yeah, let's go over to... There? Iwatadai. Or Iwataidao Station. Yeah. Somebody told me how to pronounce that, but I'm pretty sure I butchered it anyways. <laughs> So yeah, today we're going to go inside Bookworms and uh, see how that old couple is doing. And the Hierophant social link starts out today by Bunkuchi giving us some melon bread, which is pretty cool, and sure, thanks for the bread, dude. And don't worry about it, just take it! So melon bread's actually kind of a Japanese delicacy, it's apparently pretty tasty, so it's kind of nice to see this elderly couple giving me some. I'm sorry, Johnny, he's terribly forgetful today. <laughs> oh my gosh. She gives us some snacks too, some more melon bread. There you go. And should be helping customers. Where is he? Well, who are you exactly talking about? Uh, your spoiled son. Oh, he works here too? Huh. Why does he look so lonely? Oh, where did he go, dear? Must you do this? Oh, goodness. What's, what's going on here? Why is she so sad? Who exactly is this person you're talking about? Oh, that's right, our son is deceased. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah, so apparently, the elderly couple's son is dead. But how did he die? Oh, that's very unfortunate, but I guess we'll have to find out another day. Dang, that was an awfully sad social link event, huh? Yeah, they're not all super happy and- Oh, dang it! <laughs> oh gosh, this is really bad timing. So basically, um... Gosh, this sucks. But we are supposed to go to Tartarus again tonight, but unfortunately, our whole party got super tired and sick. But it's not the end of the world, actually, but yeah. So we need to go to Tartarus because we have to kind of avoid a phone call with one of our students, or actually one of our student friends. But I think we'll still be okay, so I'm just gonna go to karaoke and do some crap later. And this is what I was referring about. Uh, yeah, Kazushi's gonna ask, Yo, bro, got a minute? Just say sorry, I'm busy. Sometimes they'll get angry with you, but do not accept any of these, like, phone call conversations unless I tell you to. That sounds a little weird, but these are actually pretty stinking important that you could decline these. Because if you cancel your plans on them and diverge from my, like, walkthrough, you may be in a little bit of trouble. And yeah, you feel tired, so we're just going to rest today. And I believe we have school tomorrow. I'm not sure about that. But yeah, we'll just sleep. <laughs> So 
See, now we're no longer sick, which is kind of good, but the issue here is we're not tired enough to go to see the nurse, we can't get the medicine to increase our courage, and our party, unfortunately, does not recover as quickly as we do, so we can't go to Tartarus, which I really need to go to Tartarus, and I'll probably do that Wednesday, but it's not a big deal. But what we want to do today is we are kind of going to do two social links in one day. Now, how can you do that? Isn't that impossible? Actually not. We're going to visit Elizabeth today. Now, I know I said we won't be showing all Elizabeth um, social events, but... This one in particular is actually pretty cool, and it's kind of like a quest chain, honestly. So we're going to accept this request, if you do not remember. We can go to Polonia Mall and visit the Velvet Room through the second door. It's actually a couple doors of the Velvet Room. It's kind of weird, doesn't it? It's like, just, if there's all these doors, can't everyone just go in them? But they wreck on that too, because you can, you know, you can't see them unless you have the key. Which is <laughs> kind of silly. And there she is, Eliz. Probably just going to call her Liz. We're going to accept requests and let's go to huh now there's a couple of these a lot of these yeah she'd like to visit polonia mall um and we need the old document one which is the, why we really want to go back to uh tartarus because you know just want to get that free item basically and okay so here's the thing this is i like to visit polonia mall um these are sort of social links but you, no matter what you say you can't do them wrong so they kind of won't be covered but I'll at least show one. I will make a video towards the end of the Let's Play that showcases all of them. But why do you need to do these? Well, there is a reward and it is a key. A key item that unlocks a Persona Fusion. Which some of these we actually really, really want. Because you can't get them unless you're doing Game Plus And we want to get them on the first time. So let's accept request 56 and visit Liz to go see the, uh, the mall. Which we're literally right outside of. And let's go on a date with... Liz, I've been expecting you. Yeah, let's be on our way. Now, I'm, these are kind of the weirdest uh, social events because you just—I don't, I don't know—they're just really weird. They don't eat any up any of your time, so you can do them any day, basically. Just don't forget because if you miss them, you can't do them again. You can't see it. Ah, yes, an intimate encounter with one of your world's rarities. This must be a fountain. It makes sport of water, well known to all to be the foundation of life. How wicked! It's rumored that its enchanting nature grants wishes to those who sacrifice a few coins. Is that so? Is it possible that the worth of the coins wasn't sufficient to pique the fountain spirit's interest? Fortunately, I anticipated this and brought a good supply of coins. 2,000 of your 500 yen coins, to be exact. I shall make an opening bid to the Fountain Spirit of 1 million yen. I was so caught up in the excitement of tossing in coins that I hadn't given my wish any thought. This won't do. I shall give it more careful consideration before I return here in the near future. here. There are some stern-faced gentlemen inside. And these photographs displayed so prominently. Most wanted. Reward. Am I correct in thinking of these as your version of my subjugation requests? What do they use as proof that the target has been subjugated? If they truly parallel my requests, do they require a piece of the body? My interest is piqued. This edifice over here. It can't be. Is this a club? Dancers. 
Dictated by the sway of one's inner passions. A subterranean garden of uninhibited spectacle. Oh, no. It's not closed for business now, is it? Such a pity. I had hoped to join in on the wild ritual. Quite satisfying. But I'm overwhelmed. Everything looks so new and inviting. Everywhere I look, something catches the eye. If you wouldn't mind, perhaps you could recommend our next activity. This arcade. I have heard of it before. I recall it described as a playground where one sports with electric fairies in exchange for tokens. I have also heard that they contain games where one controls a bird to win prizes. I'm eager to see it. Ah, excuse me. Would you mind waiting for a moment? I wasn't aware that there was a fountain on this side as well. Hmm, yet another fountain on the opposite side. I see. So this place is close to a trinity of fountain spirits. for the wait. Let us continue. Thank you for the invaluable experiences you've shared with me today. I consider this mission fully accomplished. This may sound forward, but I'd like to accompany you again sometime. That's not really a forward at all, and yes, we head back to the Velvet Room with Liz. Now, you don't get a social link rank up, but basically after that event, she'll give us an item. And I'm um, pretty sure that is completed now, and you've completed my request. Here you go. There's the thingy. Yeah, I'm skipping all this. Give me a reward. Give it to me. Come on. Yeah, we now summon Huampo, who is... A pretty good persona, but she's kind of in the level 20s. Yeah, so now we need to accept, retrieve the first old document, which these are kind of just things, they're kind of like Ansem reports, I guess, they kind of like give into the backstory of persona. They're not 100% required to obtain, but I recommend you get them, because they're pretty nice to get, and they just keep you on the right trail, you know. They keep you on the road to completing the game efficiently and effectively. So, yeah, we still have um, a social link to do, actually. We're going to go visit the elderly couple again and probably get rank three. Yeah, probably, hopefully. I think we have enough points, yeah. So let's go over there and do that. So, yeah, I recommend you do all the Liz events, or most the ones that offer up a Persona Fusing thing because they're very important to get, and once you miss them, you can't get them again, so make sure to get them all. But yeah, we're gonna visit Bookworms today. And today we actually stumble into Bookworms, and uh, apparently Bunkichi is looking for something. What did you need to find? Huh. And he apparently is surprised he, that we knew he was searching for something, and no, it's not his glasses, it's his wallet. Well, we volunteer to help find him, and apparently he really likes that answer, and I really appreciates the help, and Konnichiwa, hello? Who's uh, this dude? I found this on the ground outside. Is it yours? Seems to be a foreigner kid. Uh, he found uh, his wallet. That's pretty handy. Wow, this is it. I've been looking for this wallet. Uh, and I know it's not a golden wallet, but I'm happy to have it back. Yeah. Some say, excuse me. On the transfer student everyone is talking about. I go to the same school, the Gecko Garden. Oh, nice to meet you, dude. I'll have to come say hi. Someday I came here from France to study abroad. And yeah, he's a pretty complicated name, but we're just gonna call him Bebe. Nice to meet you, dude. Yeah. <laughs> he apparently appreciates the welcome, and 
he is in the home economics room every day, and that's pretty cool. And Johnny Chan reminded me, I haven't had that roar of the engine in a long time. What engine are you talking about? Apparently a car. Oh no goodness, on the way home from work? Their son died in a car accident. From a drunk driver, oh goodness. So we found out how the old couple's son died. It was in a car accident. Well, they share that information with us and our bond with them has become even stronger now. And it's still pretty depressing that their son died like that. Gosh. Man, that sure is depressing, huh? Yeah, the Hierophant Social Link is pretty sad, not gonna lie, and oh my goodness, Mitsuru, where are you? Urgh. Well, at least Junpei's in good health, playing on his... what is that? What is that? It's like a Game Boy, but it doesn't at the same time. Huh, maybe it's an SP. But yeah, it is Tuesday, so we're gonna do the Virtual Horror minigame, and hopefully next night, Mitsuru will be here so we can go to Tartarus. And hey, it's another day of school, and who the dump is this teacher? I was watching Leaf TV last night, and there was a special on weight loss. The more you drink, the thinner you get. Yeah, right. <laughs> now she's gonna ask us a pretty simple question, actually. Our products contain minerals. They're only more than a trace of elements. Apparently she's our science teacher or something? Yeah, I guess, since she's talking about calcium and stuff. Now, I believe this is the second answer. Yeah. Soft water. Yeah, that's the right answer. Ooh, you're better informed than I thought. You know, everybody knows that I know the answers. Why do you even ask me? Ask the other kids. This isn't even, this isn't even, this isn't even accurate. And apparently our charm goes up because of that. Sounds good. Get that uh, up next. That is the next step we're gonna have to work on pretty, pretty quickly. Now, there is something we need to do today. Where on earth is it? We need to do the social link for the emperor and, oh, actually, yeah, it's probably faster to go this way. <laughs> the Emperor, and we have to start the Hanged Man requirements, which we need a Matable and some kind of, like, disgusting, like, ca calamari stuff. Yeah, so we have to go near the Wild Duck Burger to Iwatadao Station, which is over there. Yeah, um, hmm, I really hope we can go to Tartarus. Goodness, if I can't, I think I might be screwed a little bit. Please, Yukari, heal in time. Heal, darn you. That'll be really important if she doesn't, but yeah. What we're searching for is directly over here. Just come over here, and this is the Octopai Takiyoko uh, Takoyaki station, and yeah. This stuff's really gross, but we need it to initiate another social link. Now we're going to go to a place we haven't gone to yet in the entire game, the Naganaki Shrine. Or Nagan, yeah, that's Naganaki. Now, this is one of the... I love this social link so much, but this is a little girl, and she's in the first grade. Hiya, Maiko! Who are you? Mom and Dad said not to talk to bad people. Are you bad? No. Really? You're lying, are you? <laughs> and yeah, she's pretty cool. Her dialogue actually reminds me of a real kid. My best friend has, like, sisters, and this feels like something they would say. And we give her, apparently, the takoyaki, which she really likes, and ew, it's kind of weird. It's yummy. I ate it all. Cool. Yeah, and we're also going to give her the Mad Bowl because it's her favorite drink. And this will basically win over the child, and we can now initiate that social link, and now we're best friends. Come play with me. Oh, sure. I'll come play with you. Some days after school. <laughs> but yeah, you just need those two items to start that social link. We'll be back to spend some time with her, but not for a little while, because we have to do the Emperor social link, which takes forever to initiate. We actually have to go all the way over here. And back to Gekko Kai High, and then go to the front of the school, because there's this stupid stinking walkway to the school that didn't even be here, because I don't think I know, it could just put us inside the school. But whatever, and we're gonna take our shoes off or whatever. I don't even understand what the purpose of a shoe locker is in Asian culture. I don't really get that. I'm, I'm not a big anime guy, so that's never been explained to me. We need to go to the faculty office, because that's what Mitsuru said, if we ever want to, to join the student council, which is actually where the next social link is going to be. And we're in the Kekukan High School faculty office. And, oh, Johnny, can I help you? Yeah, I need to join student council, because I want to summon more personas. I heard from Mitsuru. I need to sign this here. Okay. And we signed the paper, now we can start the uh, social link for the student council. Yay, so let's head up there. Actually, there's technically two social links we can do in the student council, so that's pretty cool. We're going to initiate both of them. And okay, we have to go back upstairs now. And gosh, I'm sorry, there's been like no action. 
But you remember what that weird kid said in our room during the dark hour? That in a couple days something very strong is going to visit us? Well, that's going to be happening pretty soon. And yes, we're going to spend the day joining the student council, which I recommend because it's two social links. And you want to basically get as many social links as you can. It's not always about getting the mass, like, just one social link up really fast. It's about getting, like, a lot. So all of your personas will be really strong. And hey, we're joining the student council, and there's a couple people here. Uh, Johnny-kun, huh? I'm Hitoshi. <laughs> I supervise the disciplinary committee. Yeah, I don't know why you have gray hair. I'm Shichori Mushima, the treasurer. I'm a sophomore, and I'm, I'm still learning the ropes, so please be patient with me. Hi. <laughs> Gosh, his, his grin is so like, yeah, you're awesome. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I like Hitoshi a lot more than Chihori or however you say her name. I'm sorry, I'm really bad at Japanese names, guys. And we joined the uh, student council. And apparently, that's given us a social link instantly. It's the Emperor, one of my favorite social links in the game. The Emperor is a very good arcana to max out because the persona you get from it is pretty darn good, actually. So, yeah, it's pretty nice to start that up. And, yeah, the school day is about to end. Let's get out. And today will just be the introductions. You better come all the time. You better do a good job. Boo, boo, boo. That's the student council because that stuff's really important. I barely know what he ever told me. And, yeah, so we'll be doing that from now on. Just not every day. And it's the evening. Please, everyone at home, cross your fingers, because I swear this is random. Yeah, we're going to order this. Yeah. Come on. Let's go. 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 I'm taking on that boss. I'm going to beat it. I'm going to beat it. I'm going to beat it. Yes! Okay, so we made it our way to Tartarus. I swear that's, like, random when Mitsuru will be there and not be there. I could be wrong about that. I don't know everything about Persona. It's kind of something just me and my friend decided. It's like a series me and my friend just decided to start playing one day and we kind of just taught ourselves everything about it but yes i'm gonna save really quick because i don't want this next persona fusion to screw up and okay now that that is done it's time we go into the velvet room now what have i been stalling for basically well we just did a lot of the hierophant social link now why is that well we're gonna be fusing a hierophant uh persona actually so we're gonna come in to do the triangle fusion we're gonna take a pixie we're gonna take uh, stinking, where are you? Okay, Orpheus, an angel, and a pixie. Now be very careful. If you know that you cannot beat the next boss without Orpheus and the Cadenza, do not make this demon, but I think I can. So here it is. Did I call him a demon? <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so bad. But this is Omonokane of the Hierophant. Now he resists electricity. He's only weak to Mudo, so that's actually very helpful. And yes, yeah, this is a triangle fusion. You basically take three very weak demons to make one really strong one. And I am Omonokane. Of the hero thing. <laughs> He's a brain with eyeballs. He's kind of cool though. Look at that magic stat, dude. I'm pointing at it with my finger. It's crazy. Also, his endurance isn't half bad either. This guy is not only going to be helpful in, well, boosting up the Hierophant social link, which we're going to have to probably do pretty soon, but he is very, he's a very good battler in boss fights. Which, if I remember correctly, I don't think there's too many bosses that do, like, Mudo skills. Anywho, now that's done, let's head up and defeat that boss and basically just clear the rest of this block of Tartarus. This is primarily what I wanted to set up for, and now I think we're actually in a good position to take on this dude. Unfortunately, Yukari's probably going to die, but it's not a big deal. I have some reviving <laughs> bees, so... Yeah, no, goodness, I'm getting a little lost. And here he is, guys! This guy is tough. Tough with a T. But we're level 7, so I think we'll be alright. This is the Assault Driver of the Cherry Arcana. Yeah, he's actually Rampage Drive, but Assault Drive is a different move entirely. He resists all physical attacks. Be super careful about that. Do not auto-attack them at all. At all, and Junpei's going to learn this very quickly, and he's going to stop doing that and use fire moves. So yeah, his AI is now... There it is, Assault Drive. That's what I was talking about. So luckily, Junpei will not actually attack him anymore. However, we need to change our tactics and make Yukari actually heal, because her Garu skills are not going to be super strong against this dude. Anywho, and eh, dispels rage, that's not really that important. We're going to be spamming this guy with Zeo. Now, why Zero? Or not Zero, Zeo. <laughs> because I've been commentating for Duel too long today. Because there's a chance that he will get stunned and basically not have a turn to attack. But yeah, just basically make sure your party members are decently leveled. Oh gosh, here it comes, Mazio! Oh, 
Gosh, that's gonna hit Yukari for a lot of damage. However, we resist it, thanks to Omanokan, which is very nice. So we're just gonna keep spamming our electric attacks, and he's already at half HP. Hopefully Junpei will heal Yukari up, because I don't want to have her die, because then she'll just run away, blah blah blah. That won't be fun for me, because we won't have another party member. No, he did not. I guess he, she should live through this. Nope, she died. Okay. That's not a big deal, actually. We don't really need Takiba. She may not get EXP from this, but the way EXP works in Persona... Mm -hmm. Basically, the lower level you are, the faster you gain EXP, so it's not really that big of a deal. I think we'll be able to just spam Zio enough and probably finish this guy off. Come on, Junpei, use Aki. Use it! Use it! Okay, so if we survive this next turn, we should be alright. And Wow, he does next to no damage. Here comes the Turakaja. Yeah, we basically won. <laughs> I could have healed Yukari up, but you know how I am. I'm a stinker. <laughs> so we defeated that boss of Tartarus, and we only had one casualty. And hey, a bomb of life. So it's like, we didn't really lose anything, really. So that's pretty good. We're going to use one of those bombs of life, though, to <laughs> heal up Takiwa, because, oh my gosh, she's just sitting on the floor like a... Duh. So, let's see. Beat of life. There we go. We got a bomb of life, so we want to hang on to those. And okay, so we basically got through that place on our first try. So, definitely get Omino Kane if you're having troubles there. Sacrificing Orpheus, debatably pretty good there. But yeah, if you can't beat him without Condenza, though, just hang on to him. You can still use Orpheus, just make sure you don't have anyone weak to electricity, and you should be okay. And hey, some pretty nice treasures. Now is the time that we climb the last two floors of this block, because I actually need to bring something up. Basically, when we go to Tartarus, we... Wow, that was really stinking easy. <laughs> there is a barricade. Mitsuru talked about this in dialogue, but I'm just going to say it now. There's going to be a dead end. You can't just climb all the way up in the first night, you know? There has to be something in your way, so there's a bunch of chairs. Now look at this place, oh goodness, there's all the blood and all these weird platforms. I really like this area, but, what we, no, don't talk to Junpei. I want to talk to the chest. This is where the old documents are, yeah. I recommend getting these, because you want to do the Liz quest, or Elizabeth quest. And yeah, I get the reward from that, so this is all we can do in Tartarus, but I'm going to grind up anyways, just because I want to make sure I have enough money and everything. And I also need to get tired again, so I can visit the nurse and get some courage increase. But that's going to do it for this episode of Let's Play Persona 3. We did the Hermit social link. We did the Hierophant social link a lot. We talked to Liz and went on a date with her. And we initiated the Student Council social link. Also, we took down the final boss of this block of Tartarus. So we did a lot, and I hope you all enjoyed it, because in the next episode... But the adventures of social links and personas are not over yet, because in the next episode, we take on our biggest challenge yet. So see you guys then. Bye.